My friends, good morning to you. Good morning to you. So before I jump into uh, what I studied here this morning, I want to show you the little uh, little recipe here for the bulletproof coffee. This morning I threw a little bit of MCT oil in the Irish butter, grass-fed Irish butter. I throw a little bit of sweetener in, like one thing of uh, sweetener, a little bit of maca. A little bit of maca, and then I forget what kind of coffee it was this morning, but it was delightful. I'm a dark. I like my coffee dark. Dark. Hi, guys. Dark. Dark coffee. I'm a dark coffee fan. So if, if you guys have some cool coffee or if you own coffee company and you want to throw your coffee company here on the little morning show that we've got, shoot some over, and we'll do a little review of it. But... Every morning I'm drinking Bulletproof coffee. That's the recipe that I just showed you. The Bulletproof, or the, uh, a lot of people think that they have to buy stuff right from Bulletproof to have Bulletproof coffee. You don't. I just get organic coffee. Lots of times I get it from local growers. I was up in Montana a little bit ago and bought some from the Montana Coffee Company, which was unbelievable. Montana Coffee Company, if you're listening, your Huckleberry Coffee. I know that sounds really crazy, guys, but the Huckleberry Coffee from the Montana, was it Montana Coffee Company? The Montana Coffee Company was literally some of the best coffee that I've had in I don't even know how long. So a little shout out, Montana Coffee Company, if you're listening, your Huckleberry Coffee is off the freaking hook. So the grass-fed butter, organic coffee, a little bit of sweetener, a little bit of maca, some MCT oil, and you got yourself a nice, a nice uh, cup of coffee for your brain and for your morning. So this morning I was reading one of my favorite books. What is Bulletproof Coffee? Watch what I just said and the very beginning of this and I show you the recipe for it. You put it in a little blender, you blend it all up. I didn't spill it this time. I wanna show you one of my favorite books, okay? So I read different books every single day. Sometimes I read the same book a couple of days in a row, sometimes I read different books. This is one of my favorite books of all time. It's in my top five. And Austin Kleon has written a couple different books. But this book here is one of my favorites and I highly recommend it to every single human being. It's a phenomenal book. I, I don't like long, huge, 40 page chapter books. I've read tons of them. I just really enjoy short nuggets. When I study in the morning, I'm studying just until I get an aha moment. I just want a little nugget. I don't read for time, I don't read for an hour because it's an hour. My alarm goes off and I stop reading. I, I study until I have like an aha moment. And this book has like a plethora of aha moments. This is one of my favorites. Those of you that know me, those of you that know uh, or been around with me or, or in the lion's den or coach with me know that I've highly recommended this book. And this morning I was reading this book and it's fascinating how lessons continue to show up when you just study, when you just... When you put yourself in the right place, you start talking to the universe and you're like, share with me and you just pop open a book and shit that's been happening in your life just continues to be radi like, like just it just radiates, like the energy radiates. And so I want to share with you a little lesson that I got this morning. This is something that I had a really, really hard time with at first when I started um, coaching and, and, and working with investors and working with um, clients and, and consulting and stuff like that because we think that like, we're all creating something unique and original. And really what I, what I discovered probably two years ago, two and a half years ago, is no one's, no one's like reinventing the wheel. No one's making the wheel any more round than it already is. But what we are doing is figure out, figuring out ways to make it go faster. You can't make water any more wet than it already is, but you can figure out different ways to do things with water, right? And so one of my favorite chapters um, in this book, and, and it was funny just because I opened up this morning and, and opened up right to it, is obviously the name of the book is brilliant. Steal Like an Artist, Austin Kleon is a brilliant man. But one of my favorite chapters is where he talks about copying. The name of the chapter is Start Copying. Now here's what's fascinating. A lot of my clients have questions with this. A lot of my clients wonder what, 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 the, you know, what to do with this. But what this means to me is really simple. I surround myself with good people. I surround myself, I was hanging out with my buddy the other day who's a billionaire. I was hanging out with another buddy who makes $500 million a year. I hang out with these people and I associate with these people and I'm around these people frequently because I'm wanting to take from them things. I'm wanting to add value however I can. 
but I want to take the good. I want to take the things that I see them doing that radiate with me, that, that, that I see, that I feel, and I want to inject that into my own life and into my own business. See, like, there's a beautiful mountain right over here, uh, Mount Timpanogos. The mountain's not changing, but yet thousands and thousands and thousands of photographers have taken pictures of this mountain, and they've all done their own spin on it, right? There's... Tony Robbins has been in the game for a long time. He's been coaching and helping and life coaching and inspiring so many people for 30 years. And so all of us coaches, all of us who are sharing messages and helping other people around the world, we're all taking little nuggets. I was having a conversation with a friend the other day, and, and he literally gave me a line. He, he literally like repeated to me a line that was in the Tony Robbins movie, the, 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 the documentary. And I'm smiling because I'm like, it's, ge it's genius, it's brilliant what Tony said, which is why you said it. You know, he's a coach and he, he owns a program uh, and runs a program for men and stuff. And, you know, when my coach, my original coach, I went through a program uh, that, was, that was dedicated for men. And my coach who started that took things from other people, took, created his program with different attributes of other programs that were already out there and I went through his program and a couple of years later it started to resonate with me and so I took some things from what I saw and what I experienced and I liked and since I've done what I've done with with Lions Not Sheep and the Lions Not Sheep experience and Warrior before that and the whole thing people have now spun off and started their own thing and so this is long line of people that that understand the concept of copying now here's what's fascinating let me read you a couple of things that I that I really enjoyed nobody is born with a style or a voice we don't come out of the womb knowing who we are. In the beginning, we learn by pretending to be our heroes. Remember when we were little kids and we'd like pretend we were Superman or we were Spider-Man or we were Batman or we were He-Man. We like pretended we were these heroes and we acted like the wrestlers that we saw on TV or I emulated baseball players, the Cal Ripkins, the Don Mattingly's of, of my time. Those are the baseball players that like resonated with me. So I copied them. I watched their swings. I watched how they wear their pants. I like watched how they bent the bill of their hat and I copied them. Okay? We don't come out original with like all of these things. We learn by copying. We're talking about practice here, not plagiarism. Plagiarism is trying to pass someone else's off, someone else's work off as your own. So there's a ton of people that like will literally copy and paste my morning insights or copy and paste my, my posts and will pretend that it's theirs. They don't tag me at the bottom or put the credit. That's plagiarism. Now, if you read something of mine and it inspires you and you say it how you want to say it, that's copying, which is awesome. Okay, I do the same thing. I read this book, Steal Like an Artist. I read this book and I, and I get inspired and I start sharing messages my way out of this, right? Copying is like reverse engineering. It's a mechanic to take apart a car to take, it's a, like a mechanic taking apart a car to see how it works. We learn to write by copying down the alphabet. Musicians learn to play by practicing skills. Painters learn to paint by reproducing masterpieces. Even the Beatles started as a, co as a cover band. The Beatles started as a cover band. They weren't an original deal. Salvador Dali said, those who do not want to imitate anything produce nothing. Think about that for a second. Those who do not want to imitate anything produce nothing. I found myself for a long time like sitting around banging my head against the wall going, I got to come up with this unique idea. I got to come up with this new thing. I got to come up with something that no one's ever done and no one's ever seen. And, and it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Yeah, we're talking about copying. That's the name of the book, Steal Like an Artist. It's a, it's a New York Times bestselling, bestselling book. Start copying. And most of you will be like, oh, copying, plagiarism. I'm not copy. I'm original. Bullshit. None of your shit's original. None of my shit's original. It's all come from different sources. Like, that's the beauty of this. That's the beauty of this lesson is that we're st sitting around trying to bang our heads on the wall saying, we don't copy. We don't do anything. Bullshit. We copy every day. We copy our trainers. When our trainers show us how to work out, we're copying their movement. We're copying the recipe that we, that we got from Pinterest. We're copying and reproducing that. We copy everything. But yet we're, oh, we can't say that. It's, it's taboo. Bullshit. The people that are like legitimately, genuinely, and authentically producing stuff by copying properly are not afraid to say that. I copy shit every single day. Like I just said, I surround myself with wealthy people because I want to know their business practices. I surround myself with inspiring and motivating people because I want to know what they're reading. I want to know what they're studying. I want to know what meditation retreats they're going to. And I want to go do the same thing. I'm copying what they did, right? Think, think about this for a second. This is what's interesting. First, you have to figure out what to copy. Second, you have to figure out 
sorry, first you have to figure out who to copy, second you have to figure out what to copy. Who to copy is easy. You copy your heroes, the people that you love, the people you're inspired by, the people you want to be. We do this like why we, we, we use YouTube and we look up videos and we do all this other stuff, right? You start by rewriting the stuff that you see. What to copy is a little bit trickier. Don't just steal the style, steal the thinking behind the style. You don't want to look like your heroes, you want to see like your heroes. Think about that for a second. If people like that copy my stuff would stop and think like, why did he say that? Why does Tony Robbins do this? Why does this baseball player use this stance versus this stance? Why did this artist use this versus this? That's, that's the genius behind this. The reason to copy your heroes and their style is so that you might somehow get a glimpse into their minds. The reason that you copy your heroes and their style is so that somehow you might get a glimpse into their minds. I want to know what's behind Tony Robbins' mind. I want to know why Les Paul does what he does and why he says what he says. Or Les Brown. Les Paul. I was watching videos the other day about Les Paul. I want to know why he does what he does. I want to know what's behind it so that I can extract things and copy things and make them mine. If you just mimic the surface of someone's work without understanding where they're coming from, your work will never be anything more than a knockoff. Francis Ford Coppola said, we want you to take from us. We want you at first to steal from us because you can't steal. You will take what we give you and you will put it in your own voice and that's how you will find your voice and that's how you begin. And then one day someone will steal from you. Francis Ford Coppola said that. It's phenomenal. Okay? Kobe Bryant said there isn't a, a move that's a new move. Every, he's, he talks about how he's literally copied. He watched hours and hours and hours and hours of, of, of Michael Jordan videos and, and his great, the great base, or basketball players. And he started copying their moves. He started making them his, his own. Like it, this, this chapter is freaking brilliant. Um, but this is, this is the part at the end that I really, really liked. Um, in the end, merely imitating your heroes is not flattering them. In the end, merely imitating your heroes is not flattering them. Transforming their work into something of your own is how you flatter them. Adding something to the world that only you can add. In the end, merely imitating your heroes is not flattering them. Transforming the work into something of your own is how you flatter them. Adding something to the world that only you can add. I started doing Little Insight from Morning Study. Many of you have seen that and watched me do it. I've done over 950 of them, over three years worth of morning insights. And those started as a challenge from my coach because I was going through my divorce. I was spewing a ton of negative, dark, nasty shit all over Facebook. And he's like, dude, study in the morning and then share your thoughts. And it didn't start as anything other than a journal for me. It started as a way for me to break a pattern and it became a thing. It became something that I did every morning for me to continue to create positivity every single morning. And so I'd read books, I'd copy ideas, I'd, I'd take from David Dita and The Way of the Superior Man or Austin Kleon and, and Steal Like an Artist and I'd say, oh man, I got this lesson out of it. And then I'd share it with the marketplace. I'd share it with you. I'd, I'd write this stuff down and since then, Dozens and dozens and dozens of people across Facebook do their morning nugget and their morning thought and their insight from their meditation and their morning thing and their morning thing and their morning thing. And if you go on Facebook right now, there's 50, 60 different people that are sharing with you a morning thought. I'm flattered by that because people started reading mine and they started doing their own thing. They started studying every single morning on their own and sharing their own thought. And where does that branch out? It's phenomenal. You know what I mean? This is like, this is an absolutely brilliant book. Steal Like an Artist, Austin Kleon. I'll turn it around so you guys can see it because I'm sure it's backwards. Steal Like an Artist, Austin Kleon. Snap, or, uh, take a screenshot of that, but it's, uh, it's a brilliant book. I'm copying every single day. I'm copying from the universe. I'm copying images that I see. I'm copying things that I feel. I'm watching other successful entrepreneurs build businesses, and I'm copying ideas that I see, and I'm spinning it and making it their own. The Lions Not Sheep experience came from an experience that I went to from my coach and it took a little bit of time and all of a sudden I was like, I should do this and I feel this and I like this and I started extracting little bits here and there and adding my own ideas and the Lions Not Sheep experience was born. All we are doing, my friends, is copying. So we can say we don't copy, we can say that we don't whatever, but we're full of shit if that's what we actually believe because it's not true. 
Because every single thing you do every single day is copying someone else or something that you've seen or something that you've read or something that you heard. So instead of like the idea of saying that it's a negative, celebrate it. Use it. Look to copy people. Say, hey, I want to copy you. Like go out of your way to copy people to learn the lessons. So instead of, again, thinking that it's a negative, why? Because so social environment would have you believe that copying someone is, is bad. Plagiarizing is. Copying's not. Go out of your way today and copy somebody. Go out of your way and, and find somebody that, that motivates you, that inspires you, that's doing something that you want to be doing and copy their shit. You know what I'm saying? All right, my friends. Have an amazing day. God bless America.